Good morning. I'm going to do a quick video for you guys because I had an interesting issue pop up and it took me a while to figure out what was going on. I really thought I just had drought stress and this whole area, it's finally recovering, um, was basically just lost. And then I had this area which is getting plenty of water and, and it hadn't really had any issues with Bermuda mites or anything just in, in about gosh I don't know maybe 24 to 48 hours just went yellow on me and I could not figure out for the life of me of what was going on I, I thought it was fungus um, but I have a moisture testing tool and I had uh, you know my moisture levels were good not on top but down in into the dirt um, and it just was this strange fight and then I have this really nice piece of lawn and then I have a couple little areas that almost look again drought stress um, that were kind of popping up I don't know how well those show up in this but right in this area and then right over here and so uh, I just got down on my hands and knees and did a little in investigating and sure enough I found out what it was it was cinch bugs and I, I never thought to look for them and I'm not I didn't know that much about them and so uh, two days ago I came in and sprayed bifenite um, on the lawn and um, I have to say it, it worked it, it knocked him out and the re the Bermuda now is rebounding pretty quick you can see a nice green grass that's kind of growing into these spots um, this one is still a little bit yellow out in here um, but you can kind of see it um, now growing back in in here as well and uh, this spot over here just really got damaged bad it's also one of those areas I got something underneath the ground I've got to work with um, but if you're seeing this yellow patching and it's just growing and you've maybe hit it with a, a fungicide and you're not having any luck um, and you're just getting like little weird patches like this little round one here that one appeared and then I started losing this whole section um, it's probably some kind of an insect and for me it was cinch bugs I'll, I'll post a picture of um, I actually caught one on this white fence um, I'll post that up here right right here so you can see it um, but bifenite there's um, some other uh, active uh, insect killers out there um, bifen's nice because it's almost immediate you can put it down and uh, have success right away with it. So, oh, the joys of uh, warm season grasses. Uh, you're fighting the, you're fighting droughts. You're fighting heat. You're fighting bugs. You're fighting fungus. Uh, it's almost a never-ending battle. Um, I'll show you one other area that I caught them in, and uh, let's see if we can. Yeah, right here. Um, I found them right in here as well. You can kind of see it right in this area starting to brown out. And then it started to move into here, but I, I'm pretty sure I caught them. Uh, so the damage in here isn't as bad. So right here was the other area, and you can kind of see the browning right there. This area has been filling in. It's just taking a lot longer than I was hoping for. Um, at the beginning of the season, um had an issue with the pool that just saturated that with salt water so it's just been one that's been coming back so the lawn needs to be mowed and uh i just wanted to give you guys uh some insight if you're having what may look like <clears throat> fungus or um maybe you're, you're you're thinking you need to up your watering um the other culprit definitely could be insects so Keep that in mind. Hope that helps. Hope you guys are having a great week. If you haven't liked, subscribed, uh, hit that notifications. Please do. Helps out. <clears throat> um, if you have any questions on uh, how I identified them, other than just getting down on your hands and knees and looking for what looks like little tiny flies, um, it's about the easiest thing you can do. So I hope your week's going good. Fourth of July is coming up. I hope you guys are prepping. I'm getting a mow in, and then I'm going to get some... Uh, a little bit of fertilizer down, hit it with some iron, and make this baby pop for the 4th of July weekend. Have a good one. We'll see you next time in the lawn.